Argentina's Racing Club holds a special place in the heart of Diego Melito, having begun his career there. His return is the final stop on a long journey for the striker known as the Prince. Sometimes it's very hard to put into words how you feel about a club. I'm very grateful for all Racing has given me because I joined this club when I was eight years old. This is the club that gave me the opportunity to have the career I've had. So I do feel very grateful as it has shaped me both as a player and as a person. 17 years after his professional debut for Racing, Melito led the club to the 2014 national title on his return. He'll retire after this summer's Copa Libertadores and will reflect on a lifetime of learning. It has taught me a lot. Most of all, it has taught me about adversity. The most difficult times have provided a lesson for me. There have been some extremely tough moments, and in truth, this has shown me a side of myself that I didn't know was there. The Argentinian's career has been spent largely away from South America. Descended from Italian grandparents, Europe always had a strong calling for Melito. He spent time in Serie A with Genoa and Internazionale, and in Spain with Real Zaragoza. To me, it's very clear that Spanish football is perhaps a little friendlier and that Italian football is a bit more tactical, if you like. In my opinion, it's much more difficult for a forward. Their football is much tighter, but saying that, I learned a lot from both. In a career full of fond memories, there is one standout highlight for Milito. Obviously, I had some unforgettable times at Inter Milan. It was probably the high point of my career, where I was lucky enough to win trophies. Celebrating that European Cup victory with Inter really was something wonderful. It was something we had all dreamt about for a long time. The celebrations were never ending, really special. I have very fond memories of Jose, both as a coach and as a person as well. As a coach, he is superb. He is someone that demands 100% from his players. A great team manager. Mourinho moved on, but as champions of Europe, the interside he built traveled to the United Arab Emirates, where they became FIFA Club World Champions in 2010. The Club World Cup had its surprises that year because nobody expected Mzembe to defeat Internacional from Porto Alegre and reach the final. It turned out to be an amazing final. Winning the Club World Cup has a special taste for South American players. We've grown up with this competition here, so the Club World Cup is always special for us in this part of the world. If there is one hint of regret for the Prince, it's his World Cup record. Just two appearances in South Africa in 2010. It's always very hard to break into the Argentinian team. The country always has great forwards. So just to be amongst the 23 players in the squad for a World Cup really does fill me with pride. In one sense, I would say yes. I would love to have played another World Cup but I also feel proud to have had my chance.